Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video in Fortnite Battle Royale. And in today's video, we're going over all of the brand new changes which we've had regarding the upcoming event and obviously in game changes right now. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the world of Fortnite and so much stuff which we can cover in today's video. So I'm going to go over everything which we've missed. So let's start off with the first one, which is the Doomsday device itself now being powered in the lobby stage. So this looks like it's actually the second stage of the device being powered, and there's going to be one more stage after this now where it's even going to be more and here's a little preview of that for you guys there but it's basically this kind of effect that it's doing with this pulsing type effect it's going to get bigger and bigger as time goes on so some really really exciting stuff there and i definitely expect this to be a huge huge part of the event and there is also rumors that this potentially could actually get taken out of the agency area, the lobby area, and get put on the map somewhere, which would be just crazy. Hopefully that will happen anyway. If not, I can't wait to see what they're going to do instead. So let's really be excited for that. Smash like in the next five seconds if you're excited for the event like me. I'm really excited for it. Let me know. Let's try and get to 10,000 likes on today's video. A huge goal. But if you guys smash the like, it only takes a second. Thank you, everybody, doing that. All right, next piece of news we have. This one is pretty huge. This is actually regarding an event in Fortnite right now. So this starts at 8 p.m. ET, and this is actually a kind of trailer for a brand new show, and it's over on the big screen in party mode. I'm not going to be streaming this because it's played every single hour, and it's only a short trailer. It's pointless streaming it, but it is kind of a mini live event over in the party royale mode. I'm definitely going to check it out and have a look at it, but I'm not going to stream it because it's not really necessary. So there you are, guys. There's the piece of news there. Next up, we've got the mushroom. So we've all been seeing the mushroom recently. It's now appeared over in the woods, and we know that the mushroom itself is actually going to have its own little animation and its own little ability. It's rumored that it's going to actually be picked up. You're going to be able to pick it up and you're going to actually be able to hold it or carry it as an item and it's going to give you shield drip over time. It's also going to make some weird sounds. Check out some of the weird sounds it makes right here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody supporting me. Much love and respect. Now, what else have I got? Well, there is actually a challenge, guys, which I left out on my map change video because I wanted you guys to see it. But it's a challenge in game. You can see in here on the footage. I'm diving in, and you can go over to the bears here and do a little emote, and it actually gives you more bonus XP. So you can get bonus XP for this, and also get another achievement from actually going over to the bears and reading or looking at what their plan is next. I'm definitely excited to see what the gnomes and bears storyline is going to go. I left out the map change video to let you guys find it. It's like an Easter egg in that video. But yes, here it is for those that didn't manage to find it in that map change video yesterday other than that check out that video because it's got every other map change which you guys have missed and leaks as well so we've also got some more files regarding the doomsday meshes this one is pretty cool you can see it on screen right now this is potentially what the doomsday mesh could actually look like here we've got a dome wave a dome wave prong and an energy sphere this is obviously potentially where we're going to go with it i think this is mainly probably for the one that we already see in the background of Midas's lobby, but nice little news and exciting piece there for you guys. I'm definitely excited for that. Also, regarding the countdown, it actually looks like this is going to be the first ever season where we get a countdown in the lobby. Here is a little preview of what that's going to look like. You can see potentially if we get a countdown in the lobby, it's going to look like this. I'm really excited to see if that is the case, but a nice little leak there for you guys if that does become an actual thing in game. Here's another overview of a screenshot of maybe what it could look like for you over at the Doomsday device. Some people have actually been getting this rendered in pretty early. It's a nice little preview for you guys. The next piece I've got is kind of a spoiler, kind of not. There has actually been an official leak for potential files from the actual event itself when it takes place. But it's very hard to tell what's going to happen from these files. But I'll put it on screen. You can see a bunch of the list here. But the most important two from this that I take from it anyway is the obviously the shock wave effect and probably the sucking effect which is potentially to do with maybe a shockwave slash le electrical pulse in the sky. A little bit like the way we see the Doomsday device now. We could see this expanding bigger and bigger out of that device. Maybe opens up some sort of portal. And obviously the suck-in effect could... I actually think from these files when I'm reading what we get here, we kind of get the idea of a lot of kind of things being sucked in again. It's got a lot of waves, a lot of kind of lights going on, a lot of energy effects, waves, etc. Expansion of waves, bigger waves 
core energy, things in the sky, just energy wave, energy wave on repeat really in these files. So the idea I'm getting from this is kind of going back to my theory video where I talked about how the map potentially could turn all into gold for a brief period during the event and then it all gets sucked in again and the gold gets removed and something else happens during the event. It's just part of it. But that's my prediction for it. I've got a whole theory on that on my recent storyline video. Go and check it out if you haven't already. It's a great video. But you know, these files, in my opinion, they aren't really many leaks you can't get much from them it's just waves energy waves energy which is kind of what you see anyway in the orb right now so that's my opinion on it anyway now the word wave can easily be manipulated and confused with an actual wave itself like a water wave but to me i think the word wave here is in electrical wave or sound wave most likely the waves that we're currently seeing pulsing inside of the doomsday device but obviously the idea of a water wave could be a possibility but these files don't hint towards that they just hint towards more electric stuff Obviously, with Fort Tory as well, he's talked about there's going to be a potential new set of challenges for a traveler. Now, the traveler himself was originally the alien skin, the traveler bundle, which we saw in the item shop with obviously the Area 51 stuff that was going on, Raid Area 51. That was when the alien skin was released. So maybe. I don't know. Fort Tory reckons that he has something to do with the event. And I've also heard rumors of potentially the actual traveler having some sort of part in the event, maybe commentating over it, maybe doing some sort of live event or some sort of live thing or interaction with a UFO or something in the event. Personally, I think that might be a little bit too far, but you just don't know. Just imagine if the whole event suddenly went into slow motion, everything was slowed down and there was like kind of like a radio commentary over it or someone kind of watching it from the skies and you can kind of hear them mumbling. Something like that would be really creative and definitely something unique I think we'd all like to see in the Fortnite storyline. So let's just hope, guys. We can only hope with things like this. We can't guarantee anything like this will ever happen, but it's nice to see all these fails are taking place. And obviously more and more leaks are going to come out every single day and you can expect everything on the channel right here. So make sure you are smashing that subscribe and notification bell because roughly for some reason 80% of you guys watching aren't subscribed i'm sure many of you at this point right now on the video are probably the true fans and are subscribed so thank you to everyone who's made it to this point also guys fire monkey has tweeted this one out he's also said that midas will not be joining shadow he's saying that the assets for the shadow agency do not 100 exist most of them have been removed so interesting stuff i did talk about this in my previous videos on how this potentially could be the devs fooling us that it's going to turn into shadow which kind of really puts the shadow v ghost on a spotlight right now we all talked about how midas could have gone rogue but right now if midas does not join shadow that means he will remain ghost for the event and most of the point of interests on the map other than the shark and the agency have turned to shadow i'm technically thinking that the obviously the yacht i have no idea who actually owns that my prediction is that it's Ghost because Meowzles got kicked out and he turned into Shadow when he got kicked out. So I'm assuming that Deadpool works for Team Ghost but from previous storyline videos when we looked into it. So that's what I think. But let's just write off the arc. It's a little bit confusing. It's not that confusing, but it kind of just doesn't sit well with the Deadpool stuff. It could, but I don't think Deadpool will be a big part in the storyline. But I definitely think he's just got a little bit of a minor thing going on there on the arc. But yes, Midas is currently still Ghost and so is the Shark. So... Very interesting stuff. Every other location, though, other than the art, is Shadow. So very interesting to see that this is going down this way in the Fortnite story. And I can't wait to see how this event's going to play out between Shadow and Ghost. We've been talking about Shadow and Ghost recently for like the last few streams and last few videos. And obviously, I've let you guys put like your opinion on who you're on, which side you're on. We also got this kind of leaked screen of Shadow and ghost fighting it out maybe at the shark maybe at the agency i showed this off in my last map change last leak video it's very nice and obviously potentially could be interesting to see that this maybe actually turn out into a shadow poi or it may not i don't know what's going on right now it's quite confusing to tell what's coming from the files we can only just wait and see what's going to happen in the world of fortnite also regarding the clouds which i covered in my map change video many other people since then have picked up on this and the clouds are definitely something new so many people have been saying about this so many i've seen different people comment on this and talk about how these clouds are definitely new in my opinion i think they are new i don't think it's a graphical thing in the past sometimes you see new things for example the water that everyone was calling up and 
like saying all oh, the waters on the map guys that was just a graphical thing depending on what settings you had on in the past a lot of things can come down to graphical things but because i always use the same console i don't think this was here previously and this could potentially be something to do with the development of the weather and the storm which midas is trying to manipulate with the storyline so definitely some interesting stuff to consider i wouldn't 100 put it on your book straight away and think well, yes the clouds are definitely going to do something but it's definitely a possibility a more likely possibility than the other previous things we've talked about in the previous prediction and storyline videos so definitely something to keep your eyes peeled for but i really do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video again if you've made it right to the end comment down below shadow midas i don't know why maybe because he's never going to turn to shadow or maybe he is just comment it down below and we'll have to wait and see thank you so much everyone who's watched much love and respect check out my previous map change video on screen right now and don't forget to go and check out my storyline theory video which is still relevant today because there is nothing really new in the files that gives us a brand new storyline look at all so make sure you guys guys are checking that one out i'll see you guys over there expertly managed defenders